now have analyst coverage. Uh, perhaps you requested it or perhaps you acquiesced to it. Uh, but my question is whether this reflects any change in your attention paid to the stock price or your philosophy about investor relations uh, and whether you think the uh, analyst coverage is going to have any impact on the stock price going forward. Yeah, uh, no, it reflects no change in our attitude uh, uh, towards stock price. I mean, we, we are concerned about building the intrinsic value per share of Berkshire at the highest rate we can, consistent with a couple of other principles that we've set forth. And we hope very much that the stock price stays in a zone that is not too wide around intrinsic value. It's, there's going to be some zone of some sort because intrinsic value itself is not precisely calculable. And in addition, you wouldn't expect it to track it penny for penny. But we don't want it to go crazy in either direction in relation to intrinsic value. Uh, when we uh, made the deal with General Ree, that attracted more uh, analyst attention and institutional investor attention because General Ree's shareholder base was overwhelmingly institutional. So uh, institutions had to decide whether they were going to continue uh, with their investment or uh, clean it out. And we knew we would end up with more institutional ownership subsequently. Um, Alice Schroeder asked me uh, uh, prior to the, to the merger meeting, uh, she said there were a group of institutions that were coming to the meeting, which I, I liked. I mean, the fact that they were serious enough about their investment to come and see what Berkshire was all about. Uh, and a few of them even had a requirement, I think, from their own boards that they at least have sat down with management. So we spent, or I spent an hour or so with a group that she had put together and that came to Omaha. But that's the last contact I've had with, with any institutional investor. Um, and we will have no special meetings with institutional investors or anything. I mean, they're, they are absolutely welcome to attend this meeting to get all of the information that's dispensed. I think it's very useful, uh, frankly, to have an analyst or two that, that that uh, uh, is well versed in Berkshire and that uh, uh, thinks straight and uh, does their homework. And uh, that's a plus because it means we don't have to do it. And in effect, that if institutions want to talk to somebody about it, they don't, they don't call me because they're not going to have much luck calling me. And they can, they can call Alice or some other, some other analyst that, that wants to do it. And that's, that's perfect. We have a non paid. It is not investor relations because that's thought of somebody as sort of pumping your stock. But at least we have an information office now, a non-paid information office. And, uh, you know, that goes along the grain of my nature. Uh, and we, you know, we, 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 well, people say, do you want individual owners, you want institutional owners? What we want are informed owners who are in sync with our objectives, our measurements, our time horizons, all of that sort of thing. I mean, we want, we want people that are going to be comfortable owning Berkshire. And we don't want people uh, who are owning it for reasons different, in a, in a way different, uh, that, that are different from uh, our reasons for owning. We don't want people that are concerned about quarterly earnings. We don't want people who are concerned about stock splits. We don't, you know, we don't want people that, that need to be pumped up about the stock periodically. Uh, it's just not of interest to us because it just means we have to keep living that way in the future. And it's not the way we want to live now. It's not the way we want to live in the future. What we really want are a bunch of people like we have in this audience who sit down and read and think and understand that they're making an investment. It's not just a little ticker symbol. They're buying part of a business. They know what the business is all about. They know how we think. They know how we They're comfortable with that. And they can come in individual or, in, or institutional form. And when we get them, we like to keep them. Uh, so there's, there's no change in our attitude about that. There is a change in coverage uh, in that we, there is some limited amount of uh, coverage in Wall Street, which I guess for a company with 110 or 20 billion of market value, there should be. Yeah. We'll have one more question, then we'll break for lunch. We'll go to Zone 7, and after this question, we'll, we'll break. We'll come back in about 45 minutes or so, and those of you, uh, as long as we see that everybody's gotten served with food in that time, and we'll... Uh, well, uh, any, any of those who are, who are off-site or over the holiday, I think there are buses to bring you over. You can drive over, and there'll be plenty of room here. You can also go out and tour the Boeing business jet. We'll sell you as little as uh, 50 hours a year, I believe, we uh, on it. Uh, so uh, take your wallets at lunchtime. Yeah.